Okay, I'm going to show you how you can make a mood board using Microsoft Word. So open up a blank document. I'm going to turn mine landscape. So to do that, I go layout, orientation, and then click landscape. That just turns my piece of paper around. And if you want to zoom out just down here in the bottom, then you can see your whole sheet of paper. Okay, so now I go to Google and I've already typed in identity artwork. So you just type in whatever it is that you are looking for. Click OK and it should bring up images. Now I'm going to click images only and it's going to show me lots of different images. Now these are all linking to identity. Some of them look like an identity crisis. So we've got identity, so normal picture, but with words on the face, I quite like that. So I'm going to click on that image. I'm going to say copy image. I'm gonna to go to my Word document and then I'm going to click Control and V. So Control and V, click those together, or you can right click and then press paste, just the normal, just the normal way. Okay, but Control and V is a shortcut. Now I've got one image, let's go back and have a look. Close that so I can see a few more. Um, I quite like this one portrait again but with no face so I'm going to choose that one that one this one looks like it's been done in paint which I quite like so copy image got one that's done in pencil whoa that's massive okay so I need to resize that a little, little bit so you just click on the image these little dots come around and then you just drag it drag it in let's make it a little bit more of a decent size. Okay, so I've got one that looks like it's made, it's been done in pencil, one that could be maybe oil pastel or paint. Um, let's have a look at some other ones. These, this one says mixed media, so try some mixed media. Hmm, which one shall I choose? Okay, this one's quite interesting. Oh, so this one is a photograph, but it's got a SIM card. So that's interesting, isn't it? Um, kind of connotations that we all use our technology far too much and our technology perhaps becomes our identity. So again, copy image. Again, that's a little bit too big, so I'm just going to resize that. Okay, that one actually, I didn't say that somebody's literally sewn into a photograph and an old SIM card. And this one looks like it's sort of from comic books as well as a painting, so mixed together. So all of these are quite interesting and lots and lots of different, lots and lots of different materials that have been used. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look at the famous ones. So Frida Kylo, really famous. She did these self-portraits. Both of those people are her in the picture. So quite like that. Let's can put the quite like the fact that there's two of her holding each other's hands. Again, quite interesting. Now I'm just going to stop there. Obviously, you need a lot more, um, but you can see already that I've got three pictures on the top and then these two have fallen down the bottom. So this is what I need to show you how to um, how to change the margins and how to move your photos around so that it looks a little bit more interesting. Because um, obviously in art we need our work to look interesting. So first thing, go to layout again if you're not already still on it. Go to margins and make your margins narrow. So just by doing that, 
So I'll do that again just by making the margin. So the margin is the space that the computer leaves around the edge. And at the moment, it's quite wide. So it's wide on the left, on the right that you can't see, and the top and the bottom. But if I make the margins narrow, it's dropping it down from two and a half centimetres to 1.27 centimetres. And just by doing that, it's made those photos um, all fit on one page, which is great. Now, you could just go for a simple grid, making all of your images sort of line up. But again, it doesn't always look um, doesn't always look that interesting so um, one thing that you could do is you could start formatting them so have a look at this button so it says picture tools and the tab at the top says format and we need this one where it says wrap text so there's lots of different ways that you can wrap the text um, and what it basically means is um, is it going to be next to any text that you write? Is it going to be underneath, on top, on the bottom, behind the text, for example? Now, I always find if you go um, in front of text, some of the others work as well, but if you go in front of the text, it means that you can literally move your photo anywhere, whereas these ones are still locked and they're still sort of locked into into this grid shape whereas this one I can shove it here oops I could shove it here I could shove it here I can do whatever I want with it whereas all of these ones I can move them but they're always going to be stuck in that straight line okay so because I can do this now I can also put them maybe a little bit wonky if I wanted to so in front of text, again, now, oops, let's move it down. There we go. You get the idea and you can, you, you have to play around with this a little bit. I mean, I think actually that one's going to look better if it's, if it's straight. I'm just going to do it to all of them. So in front of text, for this one a little bit. A little bit wonky like that. I don't want it to hide this one, so I'll move that one over a bit. You get the idea. Now it's this kind of arrow, this curly arrow, if you like, um, that does this job. So you can spin it, you can put it all the way upside down if you want. Don't do it upside down. <laughs> okay, so that's what you can do. The other thing is, let's say this one here is being hidden now by the Frida Kylo one. So, and actually you want this one to be on top. You can just go, is it position? No, it's not position, sorry. It's this one, bring forward. So you can click on it. And did you see that? So that corner is hidden. I say bring forward, it's, it's put the photo on top of that one. Bring forward again, it's put it on in front of that one. Bring forward again, it's put it on, on top of that one. So now I've brought that image right to the front. I actually quite like it with that bit hidden. So it doesn't matter that that white bit is coming, coming over there. Okay, so you can play around with that. So just a quick recap, we've got layout, orientation and margins. So orientation, whether your work is portrait or <laughs> landscape, um, and the margins, that's around the edge. You do need to leave a little bit of space. Even when you've done the narrow, I wouldn't suggest that you put your work, you won't, don't put your work right up to the edge like that because it will, it will chop it off when, when you come to print it. So do still leave a little bit of space. Oops, I keep clicking the wrong thing. Like this. Come on, that's better. OK, 
okay so I know that that corner is going to get chopped off when when I um, print it and this corner is probably going to get chopped off when I print it but I'm okay with that.